Welcome back, peeps, to Mind Over Matter, and I am here with a super quick holiday haul. There are tons and tons of things that I would love to show you, but I do have a few items that I wanted to show you that I've picked up just specifically for the holidays and for myself, not necessarily for the classroom. Um, and for those of you who are just joining me and have never visited my channel, how are you? You are a new peep, and I I welcome you to the Mind Over Matter channel. And I do a lot of Dollar Tree hauls and a lot of uh, teacher hauls and things like that. And for the most part, a lot of it has to do with the classroom. But I thought I'd throw in a few things that I really am excited about. Um, and this is a collective Dollar Tree as well as Target. This little guy right here is a Target item, and we will talk about that in just a minute. So we're just gonna get right to it. This is gonna be a very quick haul. I'm going to have another video um, posted this evening as well, and that is mostly our teacher, or my teacher things. So let's get started. Okay, so this is a must-have, and Dollar Tree, they, I'm telling you what, the Jot brand is really cool. I have picked these up for my classroom several times and I have them hanging on the door frame and luckily enough the door frame in the classroom has a magnetic component to it. It's a magnetic strip all the way around. So these are perfect. I hang a magnet on either side and I hang things that I need to take down to the office, uh, papers that I need to go make a copy of. Uh, sometimes I need to hang up a sign for the students to remember to bring something the next day. So this comes in handy. You get four of them. They are super strong and I'm going to show you. I bought eight because I mean I really need a backup because I have four in my classroom already but I tend to use these also on my board. So I'm going to just show you the strength these guys have. I mean, it picks them up quickly and it's so hard to separate them. And when I tell you that they are super strong, they are super strong, believe me. So you've got to get yourself some of these. These are great um, for your refrigerator, for your kids, if you have kids at home, little ones. Um, great for reminders, um, anywhere. I mean, you can't go wrong with magnets. So those are two super cute items, two super cool items that I really liked. Um, I also picked up these bows. I had an idea that I had actually hauled, um, I saw a haul on YouTube of um, making paper clips, really fancy paper clips. And if you see it in the distance right over there, excuse the <laughs> the slippers. I have my planners and I plan to create little paper clips for different events. So I bought gold and I bought uh, red and basically I just take a hot glue gun and I glue a paper clip to the back of this uh, bow and I just paper clip my spot in my big planner and as well as my little planner but I also can use them for several different things for teaching as well. So I bought two packets. I mean, I really only needed one of each color, but I can share with my sister who's also a fellow planner. Um, and I can also share with a few other friends. I can even gift them away. So, hmm, that's an idea. I also have, uh, picked up the, <coughs> excuse me, these, the Jot brand has amazing stuff guys for the office. The Jot brand has some really great stuff for the office. And I use these clips like crazy in the classroom. So I picked up a, a packet, some to have here in my house, in my office, and then the other half is going with me. Um, I do know I have several of these somewhere stored in my classroom, but this year, since I moved classrooms, I've got things in different places, so I'm going to have to go on a hunt for these. But I picked up another packet just to have here in the house, but I might take a few to work, so that's that. I picked up these really cool playing cards. I loved the pattern. And I'm, I'm currently tutoring, and I know that I said that this haul was going to be about the holidays. I promise I'll get to it. Um, and I'm currently tutoring, and I'm I'm practicing multiplication facts with my tutoring students. And I thought, you know what, a really great thing to use is playing cards. And you basically shuffle them up, and you divvy out the cards so that you have an even number. And then you throw down a number, they throw down a number, and they have to multiply the two numbers that come up. And if they get it, they get to keep the pair. And if they don't, I get to keep the pair. And of course, 
having said the answer. And then at the end of the game, whoever has the most pairs is the winner. And so this really gets the motivation going. And I challenge my students to the next time know a new multiplication fact. So for example, my student that I've been working with about four weeks now has learned all of his multiplication facts through five, including the threes and the fours, which are difficult. And we've moved on to six. So he really enjoys playing with this. And I also do the same kind of thing with uh, dice. Um, so we roll each one die and we multiply and you can multiply up to six, but then when you get into the higher numbers, then you can roll double dice and it's such a fun game and it's very motivational. It's something different than just practicing paper, pencil or on a whiteboard. So that's that. I pardon, pardon the little dust things on the floor, guys. I've been moving things around here in the, in the new house. And, um, okay. So I found this the other day. I was so excited again with the job brand. Um, and I found laser tape and I'm not going to use this specifically for, uh, what it's intended for, like to make your Christmas presents look really pretty and sparkly and dazzling. I'm actually going to use it in my planner. I mean, this is per, this is perfect washi tape. And when you get four, I mean, really, that's the best. That's the best. And then I can split this down the middle and make them a little thinner, use them exactly that size. And they come in their own little dispensers, which I thought were really cute. I also picked up some of these um, bows. You can't go wrong. I have another bag from last year that I have maybe a few in. So I always pick up a few. And it's just to kind of add something to your gifts. Um, you just can't ever go wrong. And sometimes I save some of the little guys and I actually undo the ribbon and then I can create a new way to um, wrap a gift. And speaking of washi tape, I found these at the Dollar Tree. I'm so excited. This is new. Um, they're actually by the counter. They're not anywhere near like the crafts or where you would normally find them in the school supply section. They're actually by the counter where all the knickknacks are and like hand sanitizers and really funny big pens and just all kinds of, you know, rare different kinds of things. And sometimes they're actually posted next to or placed um, by the solar little characters little moving solar bears and things like that. So this is a pack of two washi tapes in very sparkly gold and silver. And I picked up the pack that has the aqua and the pink or the fuchsia. Loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. Then going on with the theme of my planner, and I apologize guys for the lighting. I'm in my bedroom and it is dark out and I don't have another lamp at the moment, so please bear with me. Um, I love these. I hauled this in a different uh, video. These are also by the Jot brand. I'm sorry, they're upside down. And um, this one says, hello. Let's see if you can focus there. And it's got a heart and stripes and polka dots. I just love these to mark your place in the planner. This is also by the Jot brand. And look how cute these designs are. Love the chevron. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I just noticed these little black and white. Oh, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Now dollar store, the Dollar Tree has some really great buys when you go and get boxes. This is a, uh, a package of three gift boxes and I'm so into the vintage look of Christmas this year. My whole Christmas tree is vintage. Um, it's very simple. You just have lots of sparkly red and green and lots of gold. And I just love just the simplicity of those soft muted colors. So I got this and the other pattern in the back is this one. This is a little brighter. So I plan to use this for maybe a baby gift or and things like that that I would be giving away. But look at this one, isn't it gorgeous? Look at that little stocking with the candy cane sticking out of it. And the little love tag, it looks like an ornament. The little, um, I wanna say those are little cardinals? Nope, they're roses. But I love the cardinal look as well. If you have anything cardinals or the little truck with the tree on the back or the little dog in the truck, I love, just love that stuff. Um, of course, in my traditional scarfy ways, I picked up these beautiful scarf and I bought two and I put them together and create a really fun, festive infinity scarf. So this is on my love list. 
And then I picked up these going along with my planner items. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. This one says, all day, every day, hustling. Love it. You've got morning, noon, and night. What I love about this is that I can take some to work and I can actually jot different things that I need to get done maybe throughout the day or in the, on the weekend. But I can also cut this into little squares. I can even use this little top part into the planner. And it just makes for really cool um, layouts when you put out your planner, whether you use it in the small planner, if you have a small happy planner. I, I happen to have a recollections planner. I also have a happy planner. And I'm actually going to do a haul and video on my planner coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Then the next one is, this is another notepad by the Jot Brand. I'm telling you, Jot Brand is the way to go. This one has the date, needed it yesterday, to do it today for reals, meh, maybe tomorrow, or sometime in the near future. I love this because you could break this down, but you could use it as a pad as well. So I had to get those. And then moving on to the front part here, I've got, I bought several different gift bags. Um, I actually have four others and I'm actually at the end of this uh, video, I will post a few pictures instead of having to show it in this haul of the really great Dollar Tree bags that they have. Holy guacamole they are so cute and they're very vintage and this one happens to have the little dog in the front I love it and the tree in the back and just the fall I mean the holiday colors they're very rustic oh and there's a little um snowman that's in the back I'm going to turn this around so you can see the back so you have your little snowman sticking out oh my gosh isn't that so precious and along with this goes our little truck and I have him sitting on my coffee table with a little tree on the back oh my goodness and this was only three dollars at Target it's in the Target dollar spot and if you go now they have replenished because a good while ago when they first came out probably mid-November they were going like hotcakes and I was at um, I was at Target just about maybe not last weekend but maybe Thursday and it was there and I and there were so many so if you get a chance to go grab you one go get one then I was able to get this cute um, have a merry little Christmas sign and I'll be hanging I actually have this instead of hanging it on my door I actually have it just propped up against this really beautiful glass um, arrangement that I have on my coffee table and look at the cardinal Oh my gosh. And the glitter, you just can't go wrong. I mean, really look at the black glitter. Oh, love it. Then I was able to pick up a packet of these reindeer. They come two in a pack and I picked up eight. Yes. Yes. I picked up eight and there's reindeer all around my tree and it has the little bells. And of course you've got to be careful because a lot of the Dollar Tree items have a lot of fallout. So if you happen to get anything with glitter, make sure that you like really shake it in the bag. Um, I tend to actually take this stuff outside and spray it down with hairspray, like that real freeze kind of hairspray. And it does the trick. It doesn't have any fallout afterwards. It's still sparkly. And then the following year, if you still have some fallout, you can always just respray. And the last two things that I picked up for the holidays were these um, gift wrappings. And this one is actually, let's see, I say actually a lot. I really need to work on that. Um, it is by the Christmas house and it is 25 square feet. And then this one is, I think from the same, yep, it's also the Christmas house. Um, and it's also 25 square feet. And, you know, my family is small. You know, we're not a very big family, at least here in Florida. And so I picked up two of those um, wrapping rolls. And I do have one other from last year that I tend to use. And it all kind of goes along with my little rustic uh, holiday theme that um, I selected today. And I will, at the end of this video... Uh, put in some pictures of an amazing arrangement that I made with similar colors all from the Dollar Tree. I just picked up a few stems, some really beautiful foliage, and 
I just love their like garden section and I put this really great vase together so I will insert it at the end of this video and that is about it my friends I am so glad that you were able to join me I know it has been a while um, that I've posted a video and there are more to come as more time is available you know the life of a teacher is never ever there's like barely any downtime. So when I do get a chance to get a video up, I will certainly make the effort. So until next time, leave me a comment in the comment section. What is your favorite type of holiday decor? Do you have a theme in mind for this year? Do you um, have your Christmas tree up? What's your theme look like? I would love to know. Leave me a comment in the comment section. And until next time, make sure you like and subscribe. And I will see you later. Bye.